Ah, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Welcome back, everybody. Seven days of that. I'm an old guy gaming, and uh, we are. Uh, I found some fence posts from Jin here. I've been going around uh, looking at all the traders, and nobody else has had them that I've seen so far. Uh, but she does have some, so she's got two, which isn't a lot, but hey, that's a start, right? We need a total of 10. And she's also got Sniper Volume 3. Headshots have a chan uh, chance to stun and a greater chance to dismember. Um, she has a coffee seed recipe, but I thought we already knew how to do that anyway. But, so I'm not too worried about that. And let's see. Let's take a look at her secret stash, too. Oh, yeah, Lucky Looter. I knew she had something else, too. Um, so... Brass is the new gold. Find more brass and loot. Right. Okay, cool. We'll take that. Uh, rocket launcher schematic. We actually already have a purple rocket launcher, so I don't think I'm going to buy that. We should probably start thinking about using that, too. That could come in handy. Uh, so that's all she all has. Alrighty then. Stay safe out there. I have a bunch of stuff that I could have sold, too, but I just didn't take the time to um, get it fixed. Oh, okay. So we just learned... Was that Lucky Looter? I think it was. Um, anyway, I didn't take the time to uh, to fix it all up and get it modded at this point. Enemies have a higher chance to drop loot. Awesome. Okay, cool. So we got uh, Lucky Looter finished, which is great. Um, and then... Uh, what was the what was that other one we just took? I'm sorry. It's like really early in the morning. And I haven't quite woken up yet. Was that Wasteland Treasures? Harvest more brass from sinks. I can't remember. Oh, it was Sniper. That's right. Yeah, it was Sniper. Okay. Uh, you know what, though? I don't really like the, the ghillie suit so much. I'm not too impressed with it. Well, I haven't given it a shot in Alpha 19. I didn't like it in Alpha 18. I didn't think it really worked as advertised. But uh, anyway, we have two more to go in the Sniper tree before we get that maxed out. Okay, so we basically have one uh, game day left. Or, I'm sorry, one hour left. Yeah, see, I'm not awake yet. A little more than one hour left uh, before nightfall. So, I don't know if I can make it up to the... Uh, yeah, might as well take this to... Food's food, right? I don't know if we can make it up to the next trader before nightfall or not, but we'll give it a try. He's quite a ways away, so this is probably not going to happen. But if it doesn't, then whatever. Oh, you know what else I was going to do? Let's check her jobs, too. I mean, we still have four days until Horde, until Horde Night, so we might as well see if we can do the Shamway Factory, maybe. Okay, so let's see. You got a clear. You looking to earn some dukes? Factory one, I yep, that's the Shamway. Like if you take a job, what else do you have, I'd be though? glad to take my commission. I would love That's to get shotgun you a job. Messiah. We've already you done get that. Blocking all shipments until that job is done. We're always That's for also shotgun Messiah. If you take a job. I'd be glad to take my commission. Okay. So, yeah, this you one is work? the uh, Shamway factory. I had a good So, we'll take that. You. Good luck. And what I'm thinking I might try and do with the Shamway factory is I'm thinking I might try and maybe we'll see if we can speed run it. <laughs> See if we can stay alive, speed running it. Um, okay, so where is this? Uh, we could do all the yellow quests too. That's another thing we could do. Head to the factory. So make that active and show it on map. Okay, well, you know, that's up by where uh, the trader is anyway. So we're like... Not really equipped to do that, though, because I have the motorcycle and not the 4x. So I don't think we're going to make it to the trader anyway. So, all right, I'm going to go back home, and we're going to uh, we're gonna get the 4x so we have all the space, and I'll put all this other stuff away. And then I'll meet you guys over at the Shamway factory, and we'll do, we'll do a speed run of the Shamway factory. See you in a bit. All right, guys, I'm at Trader Joel's to the west here, and we... Had a running horde come in as soon as I, <laughs> as soon as I got in here. Uh, but anyway, uh, Trader Joel has a couple things that I want to buy, and he and we might actually take his uh, sh uh, Shamway Factory quest because um, it might be closer, or at least the turn-in will be closer if nothing else. But he has a Crucible schematic, so let's go ahead and buy that just so we know it. 
Uh, we might as well buy blueberry pie recipe. And he doesn't, unfortunately, he doesn't have any fence, extra fence posts. Just taking a quick look and see what else. Okay, what's he got in sacred stash? Shotgun parts, robotic sledge, urban combat. Forget elixir. Okay, now he's got a job. Um, I think it's this one here. Can you help me with my problem? Come back if you. Okay, hold on. Mind. I thought I saw it, that he had a you, friend. a I'm factory one, one job. Yelling. Maybe I Please. misread that. There it is, right here. Okay, let's just accept this from him. And how did you get in here? Did I leave the door open? How the hell did he get in here? Oh, you know what? I bet. I wonder if he jumped up on another shoulders. Maybe that's how he got in here. I don't know. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. So, tier 5 fetch and clear. It's about the same distance away. But it's a little closer to the north. And turning into him is going to be uh, a lot closer than turning into Trader Gen down south. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually uh, cancel Trader Gen's quest. Sorry, Gen. And we're going to take this one instead and make that the active. Okay. So um, also, I, I went back to the base to put the two fence posts up that I got. And I realized that when I had put the... Um, when I had put the... Uh, the quarter poles, or not the quarter poles, but the poles in for the fence posts, the fence posts don't sit flush on them because they those poles center on the block. So I removed them and I put I just put plates in instead um, because you know I hate I hate it when stuff is floating in the air. Just it's just not right. It's just not right, man. Okay, this uh, going across the burnt bomb is very rugged terrain, so uh, we're just going to follow the highway over to our quest location. So I will meet you guys over there, and then we're going to do a speed run on the Shamway Factory. Should be interesting. All right, guys, we're here. And yes, I just realized <laughs> that I bought that Sugar Butts candy and didn't actually eat it before we bought that stuff. So it doesn't matter. We got we got a million dollars. Okay, uh, so speed running the Shamway Factory. Here's the rules. The rules are that we move as quickly as we can. We're not going to be absolutely balls out reckless, though, either. But we are going to move through it as quickly as we can. You know, leveraging our stealth skills as best as we can, but we're going to have plenty of oh shit moments too. Uh, let's move this into uh, four. And what is my what is my um, machine gunner skill? Okay, it's at four, so that's good. Um, so, you know, we're we got lots of ammunition, medical supplies. I've got stuff to take care of criticals. We got some antibiotics. We got some vitamins. We got some painkillers. Uh, all that sort of thing. And so, yeah, we're just going to move through it as quickly as we can. And I'm going to actually start the, the stopwatch on my, my iPhone here, too, just to see how long it actually takes us. Uh, let's reset that. And, yeah, uh, so, so the timer stops when we finish the quest. And also, we, well, we have to finish the quest. We have to get to the fat loots at the top there, and we have to not die. So those are basically the three things. Moving as quickly as we can, but still trying to be, you know, using our stealth build, uh, the advantages of the stealth build. In other words, I'm not going to just go in and, and just run and gun the whole entire way because that's not what our build is built for. Uh, but we're also not going to, you know, sit around and try and figure out the next best strategy and, and move really, you know, creep around all the time either. We're going to move as quickly as we can, okay? So, um, I don't know if you guys can see this, but you can see that I got the timer timer running. Okay, so we'll set that down, and let's go. Let's do this. So, I'm, and obviously I'm not going to double loot anything because it's just not, we don't need new, really anything right now. So there's usually a Z. There. Oh, shit! <laughs> that scared me. <laughs> it's usually around the other way. He did? He did? Okay, let's move. That wasn't uh, off to a very stealthy start, was it? Sounds like we already got the attention of somebody else. He's stuck now. That's fine with me. If he wants to get stuck, he can stay stuck. Alright, what do we got a cop here? I think those footsteps we're hearing are from outside. Let's 
reload quickly. I'm planning on using my... Is he actually dead? Yeah. I plan on using, you know, my Magnum... Silence Magnum pistol as much as possible. Just because it's going to be fast kills and it's still silenced. So it's not going to wake up the entire place. At least that's the theory anyways. All right. I still show... Oh yeah, there we go. There you go, big mama. You dead? Goodness. Oh. <laughs> okay. Is this loaded? No. Let's get this loaded quick. Okay. This next park's going to be uh, interesting because this is a big ambush point that we're going to. So we just need to get ready with our machine gun. And let's just put you right there. Now, if we can, um, if we do a couple snipes from here with the crossbow, that would definitely be a good idea. There's lots of dudes up in the ceiling. Yeah. If we could just thin out a couple of them uh, before... Let's see how many there are up there. Oh, my... <laughs> it's so zombies oh lord this is such a dangerous this might be the most dangerous part of this whole poi go, coming in here um okay let's see problem is i just don't have any good shots you know okay we gotta move we gotta move we gotta move there we go we can just thin them out a little bit before the whole kit and caboodle comes after us. That'll be good. All right, so we're thinning out a few of them. Those red dots are getting a little smaller now. Oh, I think we already killed that guy. All right, I don't see any more. You know what, though, we, we could try and do, now that I think about it? Let's grab Junkie here. And if we can get up to the top without aggroing them, then we can pick some more off from up there. Usually what happens in this, in this room is they trigger and then they all come after you. I have been killed before in this place because of that. Okay, so we're doing good. Oh, shit! Dude, you scared the hell out of me. Okay. Alright, it's on now. So here, let's get up here. If we can take them on up here as best as possible. Die, Edgar. We don't have time for this. We have to kill them all as a thing, though. Alright, where do they go? I think they're they've all fallen back down. Oh, there's some of them in there too. Okay. Um Okay. Let's go back down here so we can keep our back to the wall. Come get me. Die, Edgar. I think that's we got one red dot off that way. We can't we can't let anybody stay alive here. Where the hell are they at? Back in this other room? Why is uh why is that Zombo counting as one one of the ones we have to kill? Because he, he, he's a red dot. Oh, shit.
Oh, okay. So it's this guy here. Yeah, wait, it's not the zombie outside. Okay, cool. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's move it. Oh, by the way, I'm not gonna loot anything except for the the very end loot. Um, no looting. We just gotta go. We gotta move. We gotta move. Uh, did that door open up for us now? It didn't. Okay. So we gotta go back up through the roof again. Let's just go around this way. Have to make sure we don't fall through the the place. Okay, more red dots. Let's sneak, but let's move fast. They're all up above. Oh, except for him. That's a zombie from the outside. Okay. We can get a couple sneaky sneaks off here. Well, we gotta reload our crossbow first. Okay, there's gonna probably be some more guys in through here. We can't get a headshot off on him. Can we take his leg off? That works. That works. Okay. Couple red dots over here. And then we got a red dot off that way. Um, they could be up above. Yeah, I think, I hope it's up above. Because remember, we, again, I, I know I sound like a broken record, but we can't leave anybody alive. Can't miss anyone. All right, let's move. Hopefully that red dot's up above. Guess we can go this way to look, huh? Probably up there is my guess, because there is one zombo up there that, you know, that uh, spawns in up there. Okay. Oh, wow, look at that. Okay, we're going to deal with those guys with some explosives. Let's get a little further over there. Alright. I see one red dot. We'll check the yellow bag since it's just, we don't have to break anything to get into it. Okay. There he is. Okay, here, let's close that door for a minute. Okay, no red dots, so we're, we're doing good. Let's in here quietly. Lots of red dots. Okay. I want to make sure that I can get like a bit of a chain reaction going here. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, we only have one red dot. It's probably irradiated. No surprise there. Okay, he's down. Okay, good, good, good. Move along, move along.
Oh shit. I ducked a little too, or didn't duck soon enough. Look at those guys. Oh, for Pete's sake. Reload. Reload. Okay. Let's get as many stealthy stealth shots in as we can while we keep moving. Try and kill him quietly so we can still get some stealthy stealthies in. <laughs> okay, reload. Are you loaded? Yes, you're loaded. Okay, we got three red dots that way. I knew that was going to happen. Damn, he really messed us up. Okay, these other two red dots are not awake. So, let's, let's also pop one of these just to speed this healing up a little bit more. And let's take one of those, too. That'll give us some fortitude and health bonus. Uh, all right. Let's get this reloaded and keep moving. Is everything else loaded up? Okay, we got another guy right here. Okay, so those two guys are done. Give me my crossbow bolts and let's move. Okay, we should be able to... Have a little crossbow snipe fest in here. Got a guy. Oh, shit. Okay. And then uh, just one guy over there. And also our satchel might be in this room, too. Grab this and our crossbow bolts. Satchel is going to be right up in there. I don't know if this is wood or iron. It's iron. Okay, so that part of the quest is done. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this room. We're not supposed to loot. What am I doing? Don't touch that. Oh, for goodness sakes. Uh, I didn't bring a shovel with me. That's not good. Probably this is going to be the next best thing. Zombaruski's in here. Okay, let's go over this way. these guys. I know this is taking extra time, but it'll save us time later.
Come on, stamina. You guys aren't dead yet. Stop on it. They are feral, I guess. Okay, so that cleared that entire area for us, so we don't even gonna mess with it later. Okay, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Whoops. Alright, we gotta... Yeah, run yeah, run right over the landmine. There you go. And then <laughs> Is he dead? He's dead. All right. Perfect. I planned it that way. Okay, we got three more. Two more. And one more. I'm not sure which one of these is the actual sleeper. Um, it's that guy, yeah, I was going to say. By the way, he was laying, but he woke up as soon as I realized it. Okay, let's uh, take a moment and get rid of a few things we don't need. Um, we don't need that. We don't need that. Don't need that, or that, uh, or those. Okay, I think we'll keep the rest of it. Alright, let's go. Just die? Goodness. I'm not getting headshots is the problem. Don't hit me while I'm looting. It's rude. Here, we are going to loot this. Okay, nice. Where is this guy at? Oh, he must be above us. Okay. okay let's go out this way. I can't believe I just did that. Dang, gum it. It's because, I think it was because I was probably, um, crouched. <laughs> it happens, man. It happens. Okay, we're not crouched, right? Okay. Oh, shit! What? It always, why? I don't know. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Is it because we're too heavy or something? Why couldn't I do a run and jump there? Stam oh, stamina. Stamina. That's what it was. <sighs> it's a good thing this is an undead legacy, man. <laughs> because the frames cost so much in that in that mod. Alright, let's get ready to go. Um, yeah, we gotta go this way. Okay, make sure we have enough stamina to actually do a run and jump there. Okay. Everybody executed. Okay, let's move. See, this is that place we cleared earlier, right? So, um, is there something down here? 
Yeah, there's there's like a secret something something there, but I don't care about that. That doesn't matter. We just need to go. We would have had to deal with all those guys if we hadn't taken the time to deal with them earlier. Okay, we got red dots. Let's go back to the crossbow. Oh, come on, man. Aim. There. Okay, so let's see. No more red dots that way. Trying to get to his head there. There we go. So let's see, two more red dots. Those guys are in that other room. What happened to my crossbow? It like disappeared. One more red dot. up above or around the corner? All right. Um, yeah, screw the safe. Let's just go. I heard feathers. Yep, right there. There's probably a couple of vultures up there. How do we get up there? Oh, right here. Is there a zombo in here? Very hard to hit those guys when they're bouncing up and down on your head. Oh shit, we need to uh, deal with this. Let's also take a pill. And do we still have our... I don't think we have our buff from that anymore, so let's re redo that. Okay, that's a secret stash crate, but again, I kind of don't really care right now. I just want to get the quest done. What? He is dead, right? That was weird. Okay, let's go. Anybody else's attention, so let's see if we can crossbow a couple of these guys. Okay, two more red dots. Can't see them from over here very well. Oh, you know what else I need to take is one of these. And we should be taking these, too. I brought them along, and I forgot that I had them. Okay, we need to get rid of a couple things. What are we going to get rid of? Um, oh, geez. Hey, we got a rocket launcher. <laughs> we got to put that to use. Okay, we don't need those. Um, don't really want to get rid of anything else. You know what? Screw that. I don't care about that. It doesn't matter. Well, shit, though. The thing about that is we could put it on a mod, uh, or we could put it on a piece of clothing and get a hell of a lot more money for it. Ah, uh, all right. We might have to find a place to stash stuff and come back for it later. 
even though we probably won't, but at least I'll, I know that I have that option if we ever do, you know? It's kind of more of a psychological thing. All right, so we're going to just stash a few things in this trash here. Uh, we'll put that in there. Um, we might actually use this once. So let's keep that with this. That can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there, that can go in there. And that should be good for now. Oh, and this too. Is this possibly better than ours? No, it's not. Okay. Uh, all right, let's keep going. We're almost done. Getting close anyway. Okay, no, we got to go this way. What you got, Mink? Okay, yeah, we did have to come down here to get those guys killed off, so... No red dots, right? Okay, so we're doing good. Give us our bolts back. All right, I'm, not, I'm leaving that stuff. Don't need it right now. Shows a yellow dot over that way. Son of a... Will you die, please? Thank you. Okay, let's check the weapons bag. We'll leave the rest of it for later. Uh, wow. Okay, we'll take that. I don't care about that stuff. <clears throat> okay, where do we need to go from here? I'm trying to remember where to go. Uh... It still shows a dot down below us. There's someone down below that we got to kill. Where would he be? He's right down there. Shit. All right. We got to take care of him. And we'll just we'll just nerd pull back up here. He's like way down there. How did that even happen? Yep, sure enough, there he is. Look at him. Okay. Okay, no more red dots. We got yellow dots up above, but we knew that already. Okay. So we need to just find a spot we can nerd pull all the way up there without bonking our head. Um, and we can get quite a ways up going that way. This might be a good spot here. Yeah, we can get quite a ways up going this way. Let's get more in the center here. I think we want to get to there, right? We don't want to get too high up or we'll go right up into the 
the nasty, nasty horde at the very end of the thing there. All right, I think this was where we were, right? Yeah, because we went into that room, and this is where I was saying, okay, where do I go from here? So, where do I go from here? Uh, do we go back out this way? Oh, yeah, 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 this way, okay. It's been a little while since I've done the chamois factory, so... Okay, we're almost done, guys. Get close. Getting close. What we're going to do is go around this way. All right. I think the way that I want to play this one is we're going to... Just bust a hole in the wall and take them all out here. Because what I don't want to have happen is I don't want them to all, like, fall way down below so we can't kill them. That's not going to work in our favor. So if we can just kind of get them to come to us, then we're in good shape. However, maybe we could get a couple snipey snipes off. Didn't kill her. Yeah, I didn't think those guys would get one shot of their tough. Okay, Big Mama's making her own way to get to us. Alright, you know what? Let's just... Let's do this first. And then... Let's do this. Are we... Are we even hitting these guys? What the hell? I was firing at him and it wasn't even hitting him. Ah, not good. Not good, not good, not good. Oh, we're gonna die! All right, I'm, I'm calling hacks. I am calling hacks. You guys saw it in the video. You saw it. I was shooting at those guys through that hole, and it wasn't hitting them, and there was nothing blocking them. <laughs> That's not fair. That's not fair. I'm, I'm calling hacks. I'm calling hacks on the game. Absolutely calling hacks on the game. Oh, my goodness. That's not fair, you guys. <laughs> it's totally not fair. Oh, man. Uh, hold on a second. I, I got to go back and look at that recording. I'm going to be right back. All right. I, <laughs> I went back and watched the video. It's it's this, it's this the Molotov bug is what it is. Because I'm on 19.2 stable, and I believe they fixed that in 19.3 experimental. But I have, you know, I'm on 19.2. I completely forgot about the Molotov bug. Uh, or I wouldn't have thrown the Molotov, and we probably would have survived that. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, well, you know, that is still a game bug, and therefore, it doesn't count. <laughs> it doesn't count. That's the second death I've had on this series that is hacks. There's, you know, the first one was many, many episodes ago. If you guys remember, uh, we were in a house, and Arlene, like, hit us when, when we had, like, over 60% of our health still, and it insta-killed us. Um, I don't count that death, and I don't count this one because they were both due to game bugs. So, there you go. <laughs> Not that it matters. I mean, we died in all of our shits way back on top of that. Uh, <laughs> Shapway Factory. So, I'd have to take the motorcycle all the way back there and try and retrieve it. But, oh well. I hope you guys had fun anyways. I hope you were entertained by our speed run. In fact, I didn't never even stop my, my stopwatch. But uh, it's it currently shows um, 37 uh, minutes and 21 seconds. But, you know, obviously it's been a couple more minutes. Probably three or four minutes. 
since we died. Um, so yeah, there you go. I, I can I can say without a doubt that's the fastest I've ever moved through the Shamway factory, um, for sure. And we were doing we were doing good. I mean, if if the Molotov bug had not interfered, I would have killed uh, or severely weakened a very large portion of those zombos before they even busted through. The other thing, too, to keep in mind is some of them would have been stun-locked from the fire and the block wouldn't have broken as quickly as it had either. So we very well could have pulled that off uh, if if not for that bug. So, all right, well, what can you do, right? What can you do? So officially, for the record, that death didn't count. <laughs> it didn't count. And I'm saying that we probably almost certainly would have pulled that off um, and probably would have gotten through the whole thing in about 40 minutes, I'm thinking, in total. You know, considering the fact that, you know, a normal run-through of a place like that, uh, at least on, you know, on my settings, on Insane Nightmare, is usually, you know, that's a, usually a good two to three hours of real time to get through a place like that. Um, so, not too bad. Not too bad. It was fun. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here. It is day 81, and uh, the Horde, of course, doesn't come till day 84, so... I don't know if we'll do one more episode or not, or if I'm just going to kind of, you know, hang out in the game and and wait till day 84. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Um, so I'll think about that. But uh, it, I'd like to do, excuse me, today is uh, December the 20th. So I'd like to have that um, that horde video. Uh, and then kind of like my, my little special gift to you guys um, on Christmas. Uh, so we might do one more before then, or I might just, like I said, hang out in the game until day 84. I might even cheat a little bit and speed up the time. We'll see. Uh, so that we can, you know, release that video uh, for you guys on Christmas Day. Um, or maybe even Christmas Eve. We'll see. Uh, but anyway, that's it for this episode. Guys, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and don't forget to come over and check us out on the Undead Legacy playthrough. We're having a hell of a lot of fun time playing that. And lots of people are watching, and uh, it's going really well. And... Uh, yeah, so if you aren't watching the Undead Legacy series, come over and check it out. It's a really awesome mod. Makes some very significant um, but fun uh, and even somewhat realistic uh, or immersive, maybe is a better name for it, changes to uh, Seven Days to Die. All right, guys, we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.